Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to properly wear a tablecloth flannel so that you can add color and versatility to your clout inventory. So a lot of people associate flannels with lumberjacks, but I'm gonna show you how to make it street and stylish so that the only thing you're cutting down is the amount of chicks you pull per day. But I'm gonna break it down into three things and they're gonna be what, how, and where. And just like when someone says some stupid shit, I'm gonna start with what? Now, I'm not going to ramble about what a flannel is because, you know, chances are you've seen the thumbnail. And, you know, I like to think some of you guys know a thing or two about fashion. But for the off chance that you don't, then a flannel is a type of fuckboy commonly found on the table. But flannels were very popularized by that whole fear of God wave not too long ago. And now, like I said, I'm not going to talk about a damn flannel for 30 minutes. So I'm going to move on to the next step into becoming a max clout tablecloth. And that's how. So now, how do you style... A picnic blanket. Wearing them clothes really gives you that lumberjack look, so I usually leave them open. Leaving it open is a really good way to layer your clothes and add more flair to your fit. Adding a flannel to your wardrobe is a good way to expand your rotation, as it's just an easy piece to throw over your fit. It's a good way to add color if your closet is all black and grayscale like mine's. You know, it's not like we're sad for having a bland wardrobe. It's just easy to make fits in the morning. You know, I, I swear I'm not listening to XXX Tentacion and cutting myself. I'm just lazy. It's definitely a good essential that can easily bring more flavor to your rotation. I personally like to wear my flannels loose and flowy, just open and hanging over the fit. My go-to would probably be an all black outfit under it with a colorful flannel on top so that nothing clashes and the fit contrasts well. Mixing textures and patterns would be very flashy and the fit would probably not go too well together that way. I mean, I've seen it get pulled off before, but you know, your clout needs to be like 80 plus to get away with it. It's just safe to wear a pretty neutral fit under the flannel so that you don't have to worry how things go together. I like to cuff my sleeves so I can cuff the... I cuff the sleeves so that it's more casual and more fitting if you're going to style it streetwear rather than menswear. But cuff at your own risk because trust you'll pull more women than you can respect. Fear of God styles their flannels as a layering piece alongside their zipper pants and whatever sneakers they want to flex in their feet. But you don't have to buy flannels from Fear of God necessarily. Actually, don't. What the fuck? Don't buy no flannels from Fear of God. I mean, it's just a flannel, you know? Nobody's going to know it's Fear of God anyways. It doesn't even say Supreme on it. If you want to mess up your eyes, go follow follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and by messing up your eyes I'm it's because I have this like 3d effect it's not because I'm ugly I, I mean shit if you if you think I'm ugly that's cool as long as you're following me lastly we got wearing honestly you don't even need to go anywhere specific to get some good flannels you really can't flex in them anyway so getting some cheap alternatives is always the move you can find them really anywhere at this point from H&M to Uniqlo to even Target even Costco, you know, get that dollar hot dog and drink deal. Walmart, Old Navy, The Gap. Like, there are many different styles that you can try out from every store. But unless you're looking for some extra shit like Sherpa lining, then you should be okay. I mean, nobody would even tell the difference between this fog flannel and this one flannel I found at Old Navy. For all you guys spending hundreds of dollars on flannels out there. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so to wrap this up, flannels are a good essential to have in your wardrobe as it does a lot for your rotation without costing too much. Rock it loose and open to not look like a lumberjack all the time, and don't bother spending so much on one. You might as well just buy. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys, and hopefully I got some of you guys to go out and try on some picnic blankets. My stay in New York is coming to an end as this is the last video I'll be uploading from here for a little bit. Next video should be coming out from LA, so hit me up if you're in the area. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY to keep up with the moves and fits, and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT if you have any ideas. Email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything, and yeah, guys. I love New York. I'll be back, and I'll see some of you guys at a meetup in LA, maybe. We'll see. But stay lit, respect women, and most importantly...